Hey guys, what's up? This is Sonic-24 here, and this is going to be a remake of one of my um, other tutorials on Arbitrary Maker 2003. Now, I'm just going to say this straight up. Now, if you're going to ask me about my Arbitrary game and if it's going to be finished, I'm sorry to say this, but no, I've decided to drop the projects because they t it's going to take a long time to make it, and the thing is, I really don't have the time to be working on them anymore now that I'm actually finally you know, working and trying to go to school and stuff. So, I'm sorry I'm going to have to drop that, and... Uh, the only thing I can do is to try to help you with your RBGs if you have questions, so I'm just throwing it out there right now. Now, back to the topic. Uh, this is going to be a remake of one of my other tutorials on RBG Maker 2003 on how to make characters transform or switch. Now, I haven't really did this in a while, but I finally got things set up. Now, the reason why I haven't really been um, doing things with RBG Maker, another reason why, is because I just realized that when I changed my operating system to Windows 7, things got different to do. So, I'll probably be doing some different steps. But just to give you the base, I'm just going to show you how to make the character transformer change. So, let me get this started. So, first, I'm going to assume that the characters that you have to transform in my case and already installed in the game. In my case, it's Sonic and Super Sonic. So, I'm just going to go to the database and I'll show you real quick. So, here I have Sonic. He's already set up in the game. And here's Super Sonic. He's already set up in the game. And in order to get them to transform Sonic to transform into Super Sonic in battle, you're gonna have to take a few steps. So first things first, we're gonna go over to uh, the common events. Now I already got it set, but we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm just gonna make a new one real quick, and then I'll start. Okay, so first thing, make a new slot for the common event. Now make a name. I'm just gonna say Sonic Super Test. Alright, make sure it's a call event, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert the co we're going to insert a command. We're going to go to change party, remove Sonic, and then we're going to do it again. Go to change party, and add Super Sonic. So that's pretty much the basic on getting that set. Now, if you want them to also transform back into the original form of battle over Bert. Then we'll do the same thing, but we'll do it and vice versa. So I'll create another common event, call it, in my case, it's going to be Sonic. Okay, hold, hold on. Super Sonic Revert. Okay. Insert. Uh, the same thing, but vice versa. So we're going to remove Super Sonic. Uh, here we go. Change party. And. Hold on, there we go. Add Super Sonic. I mean, it's regular Sonic, sorry. So, you got the common event set up, so that should be done. Next, we're going to go over to the... We're going to go to the... Let's see. The Skills um, tab. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new skill. I'm just going to call it Transform. Oh, no, no, hold on. Hold on, Super Sonic Test. And it's going to call it Supersonic Test 2. And type, this is going to be a switch. I'm just going to type transform for the subscription. Okay. MP consumed. You go to choose what you want to do. Consume MP or not. I'm just going to say 40 out of random. Activation only allowed in the field. Then we're going to have to make a switch for it. So we're going to click this and go to turn on switch. And I'm going to go through my list. And I already made one before, but this is from another test, so what you're going to do is just create another switch and label it whatever you want. Uh, so I have Sonic Super 2, so I'm going to keep that. Alright, so once that's done, we're going to go over to the uh, the battle layout. Now, for Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, let's see, we got him already set up, so let me change this real quick. Ignore that. Okay, so... Sonic, he's already ready in battle, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Super Sonic character that we made. And for that character, we're going to include an extra command in it. Now, if you, I have the basic drop-downs right here, so we got Attack, Defend, Skills, Items, and Escape. But what we have also, what I had extra ones, so what I decided to use this for is Revert, so it's an extra command. So, what you'll do is that, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. You're just gonna escape. We're gonna switch that. Uh, let's see. Revert. 
to. So if your list looks like this and you have an extra command right here to um, use for the character while they're in the transform state, what you want to do is just create another one called revert or go to set and just create another one right here called revert and make sure it says link to event right here. You don't want to have anything else, just have it saying link to event. So I'll create that and I'm just going to put the skate back in there and get that done. Alright, so then after that's done, go over to M groups and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess with the uh, we're gonna mess with the um uh, uh battle mo a monster group for a battle. So I'm gonna remove that guy because he kinda looks stupid. Let's see, I'm dead knight, that'll work. Oh, damn it, I didn't want you to move. Right. Okay. So we just got two bat enemies here just for a show right there. They're not really gonna do anything. And I'm gonna delete those right there. Okay. New page. Where is that? Okay, so we're starting from scratch again, so ignore what was right there. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go right here to where the battle events are for the monster group. We're gonna go to <clears throat> go to trigger and then what we're gonna do is make a switch. Well we already got the switch. We're gonna check the box right here. And then we're going to go to Supersonic 2. Okay. So, when switch Supersonic... Okay. Alright, so when switch Supersonic 2 is on, we're going to insert the command for that. We're going to go to Call Common Event. And we're going to pick the new one we made. Sonic Super Test, in my example. So, Sonic Super Test. And what they'll do is they'll call upon the event right here in order for you to... Oh, that's the wrong one to remove Sonic and add Supersonic. So technically what it'll do is it'll just it'll, when you select the skill on that list it will activate this common event which will remove Sonic and add them and then replace them with Supersonic in battle. And then after that oops, wrong tab. And when that's done what you'll do is that you also let's see let me press this one. Alright that'll be done. Now, in order to have them trans to transform back into original state, what we'll do is go create a new page, go to trigger, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to where it says heroes when supersonic uses the revert command. So that'll be the revert command back from the battle layout tab. So when he uses that, go to insert, go to call common event, and choose the sonic supersonic revert. So that'll cause that one, that um, battle command to call upon this common event right here, and it'll choose Sonic, Super Sonic to remove him and Sonic to add. And also when you're done, so pretty much you're actually done. So the next thing you gotta do is also when you do this, insert another command right here, uh, switch operation, to turn off the Super Sonic skill because it's still left on after you transform. So you gotta turn it back off. So Super Sonic turn it off okay and apply it now if it's more than one character you may gonna have to repeat this you may have to repeat this process a lot as long as you um what you have to do is pretty much just copy the pages and then go throughout the list because if you have the if you want to do this transformation in many different battles or throughout the whole game then what you have to do is go through a list of all the monster groups that you made and you're gonna have to keep pasting them there and if you have multiple characters, that may take an even longer time, but just stick with it and you should be able to get that done. What I would suggest is having the, like the transformation to be safe from like a final battle in the game or an extra boss or something. Like a, you know, just a boss fight, but for certain bat for certain monster groups in the game. So, when that's, th that's done, so what we're going to do is we're going to test it real quick. So, I got Sonic out. I'm going to put him to level 99 to make sure I don't die. And we're gonna go start test. Okay, start test. Okay, so go to skills. The Sonic Super Test 2. And there you go, you see it transforms. Oops, don't kill him. Alright, go to skills. No, look for the revert command. And he transforms back into his original state.
Alright, so pretty much all you see there is that now that they finally be able to do their, um, they finally be able to transform. So, just follow what I did in this video, and like I said, if you have multiple characters, just do the same thing, just make different common events, and then make different switches to, in order to do the same thing. Just make sure you have everything labeled out so you know what you, um, don't get mixed up and you know what you do. Alright guys, so I just hope that this video kind of clears things up a bit more and helps you out than my last tutorial, so... Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you. But pretty much, this should pretty explain everything that you need. So, take care, and see ya.